we also have to look, I think, Brian, and say to ourselves, why do these leaders feel empowered to disrespect the president of the United States in this? So, and, and I'm truly not trying to be political about this point, but I think that this, while the words that Blinken and Biden, the Secretary of State, had for Israel in the first few days uh, of this war were strong and commendable, uh, John Kirby said on the plane last night that they were going over to ask Israel some serious questions or some tough questions mm -hmm. is how he paraphrased it. I don't know what that means, but we're already, in my mind, starting to see a slow erosion away uh, from the support that, we, that I think that we need for Israel. Listen, we were told time and time again uh, under Pompeo and in the Trump administration that our policies were going to cause the chaos that you're seeing on your screens this morning. We were told our policies would cause that. It never did because people knew exactly where we stood. People would have never canceled on Mike Pompeo or President Trump in the air.